Hi guys, now we will derive the formulas for maximum peak overshoot and settling time. In the previous class, we derived the formulas for peak time and rise time. Now, peak overshoot and settling time. First of all, what do you mean by maximum peak overshoot? Maximum peak overshoot is the ratio of maximum peak value maximum peak value to the final value okay what do you mean by maximum peak value this is the difference between peak value to the final value and divided by the final value so final value is indicated by c of infinity peak value is indicated by c of tp the response at peak time is called peak value the response at infinity is called final value clear this is into 100 then it is a maximum peak overshoot percentage maximum peak overshoot now take the output response of 100 amper system because we are analyzing the waveform of 100 amper system so what is the basic formula of output response c of t is equal to 1 minus e power minus zeta omega and t divided by root 1 minus zeta square sin omega d t plus theta is the formula this is the basic formula for 100 amper system output response okay now at t is equal to infinity then c of infinity is equal to 1 minus e power minus infinity divided by root 1 minus theta square sin infinity plus theta here e power infinity is 0 so 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 so c of infinity means final value is the output response at final va final value then the what is 1 already we know this already we know that now at t is equal to tp then c of tp is equal to at peak time 1 minus e power minus zeta omega n tp divided by root 1 minus zeta square sin omega d tp plus theta here i am replacing the t with the tp okay now where tp is equal to already derived the formula for peak time in the previous class that is pi by omega d now substitute pi by d in the place of tp then c of tp is equal to 1 minus e power minus zeta omega n into pi by omega d divided by root 1 minus zeta square sin omega d pi by omega d plus theta okay here omega d omega d gets cancelled then the resultant expression will be this is the resultant expression but see here where omega d is equal to we know that omega n root 1 minus zeta square we can replace the omega d with this expression and one more important point is sin 180 plus theta is equal to minus sin theta this is also we know that so just i am replacing the two expressions with this then e power minus zeta omega n pi by omega n root 1 minus zeta square divided by root 1 minus zeta square minus sin theta clear here minus and minus gets plus so 1 plus e power minus zeta and here also omega omega and cancel zeta pi by root 1 minus zeta square divided by root 1 minus zeta square sin theta okay now again we have to remind that triangle this is the theta and this is 1 minus zeta square and this is zeta and this is 1 this is the OAB triangle clear from this triangle sin theta is equal to root 1 minus zeta square by 1 then the resultant is 1 minus zeta square so in the place of sin theta we can write root 1 minus zeta square just write this is 1 plus e power minus zeta pi by root 1 minus zeta square divided by root 1 minus zeta square in the place of sin theta root 1 minus zeta square can be substituted so now see here these two terms can be gets cancelled then the resultant will be 1 plus e power minus zeta pi by root 1 minus zeta square this is c of tp okay we got two expressions c of tp and c of infinity okay now we will substitute that two expressions into the maximum peak or should basic formula we have to substitute in this basic formula then we will get the percentage maximum peak or should formula so what is the formula for main formula mp 
is equal to c of tp c of tp is 1 plus e power minus theta pi divided by root 1 minus theta square so this is the expression for c of tp now minus c of infinity what is the value of c of infinity that is 1 divided by again c of infinity is 1 into 100 okay here 1 and 1 is cancelled then the final percentage maximum peak over to mp is equal to e power minus zeta pi divided by root 1 minus zeta square into 100 this is the formula for maximum peak overshoot now we will move into the settling time derivation okay so again same take the output response of under damper system that is 1 minus c power minus zeta omega n t divided by root 1 minus zeta square so manam clear ga waveform observe cheste dinlo sinusoidal waveform anedi certain time tarvata zero ayipothundi ante actually there are two components in the output response one is exponential one is sinusoidal component ee sinusoidal component valla vache waveforms ni exponential component em chestundi reduce chesi dani final value ki reach ayyatatiga chestundi so deen nunchi manam ki ravals main point enti exponential function so exponential component is the key role point so we are taking the exponential component as the main component then this is e power e power minus zeta omega n t divided by root 1 minus zeta square this is the main component so we are equating the this component into the what is the settling time so already we know that there is a bandwidth bandwidth means plus or minus 2 tolerance and plus or minus 5 percent tolerance so 2 percent majja band lo unte setting time formula ala untundi 5 percent tolerance unte setting time ala untundi okay if t is equal to setting time ts with the 2 percent tolerance then e power minus zeta omega and ts is equal to 2 percent tolerance 2 percent means 0 0.02 okay for example if the zeta value is very less then so compared to one zeta value is very less one is greater than greater than zeta then the expression will be equal to one then e power minus zeta omega n ts is equal to 0 0.02 okay so this exponential will be moved into the right side then it will be converted into logarithms so here minus zeta omega n ts is equal to log of 0 0.02 what is the value of logarithm of 0 0.02 minus 4 here in the left side minus zeta omega n ts minus minus can cancel that the finally ts is equal to 4 by zeta omega n this is the formula for settling time but it is at plus or minus 2 percent tolerance okay if the tolerance is 5 percent then e power minus zeta omega n ts is equal to 0 0.05 because 5 percent again minus zeta omega n ts is equal to log of 0 0.05 this is natural logarithm okay then the resultant is minus 3 in the left side minus zeta omega n ts so minus minus gets cancelled finally settling time ts is equal to 3 by zeta omega n clear like this depending upon the tolerance we can get the different settling time values clear these are the derivations of maximum peak overshoot and settling time okay if you have any doubt then please comment in the comment box thanks for watching this video